from Tomasi, ready to fireball his way off the corner. Here comes Palmer along with him, but it's Wineham that gets the jump as he gets the top of the field, they roll down the back straight into three. Palmer edges out ahead as they come off of four. Lightham throws it in hard. Here comes Morgan trying three wide out to turn number one. Palmer becomes the third leader of this event as they head down the back straight away. But he, and now he pulls away from Lightham, so he's only up by a half a car headed into the corner, but it was like Cape Canaveral for him. Coming out of turn number two, Morgan moves into second. And uh, on the inside lane, trying to get by Lineham, that is Mitchell. So Mitchell has come from the rear of the field from Bear Grylls country, fighting for a spot in the top four. All of a sudden, the handles have gone away. And oh, hard hit by Lineham. Oh, hard hit from behind. The 40 of Mitchell and the 76 of Tomasi, who has remained in contention. So we are ready to get things restarted. And Kevin, this will be a very critical restart coming up. Coming off the corner they go, 11 laps remaining. Palmer brings the field down into turn number one with Morgan on the outside. They race wheel to wheel off of turn number two. Mitchell up to the third spot as they head down the back straight away. Yeah, Mitchell able to elude Tomasi as they rocket. And Charles Bailey is moved up into the top five, the other five for the lead is Morgan, almost slipped underneath Palmer. Palmer slid up the racetrack just a little bit. Morgan couldn't take advantage as they come off of turn number four. Charlie Rose making some noise back into the top five. He goes after spinning earlier in the event. He looks at Paolo Tomasi with nine laps to go. That's his next victim. Boy, you cannot keep Charlie Rose down. A cushion opened up by Palmer as he is leading by a canoe handle over the number 31 of Morgan. And now Mitchell, he has started to make even more noise than he did before. Remember, he started from the rear of the field in the wilderness, and he has moved up to the top three and is starting to put some pressure on the back bumper of the Morgan car. He is closed right up on the back bumper of the 31 as they head down the back straight away. His number not showing on the leaderboard. Problems with his transponder. He is in third as uh, Kevin is finding out the situation from Mitchell as he almost was able to uh, scalpel his way underneath Morgan. Look at Rose going after Tomasi and Hadley. You can't keep him down either as he is in six and gaining ground on Rose and Tomasi. That is the battle for the third position as Mitchell has been black flagged and Rose has now moved into the number three spot. Hadley underneath Tomasi, looking for fourth off of turn number four. And down to the final four laps. Remember, an optical illusion is a 40 car. He is not really out there. It is Rose in third, and now the battle for fourth and fifth is heating up as Hadley was able to get by Tomasi. Tomasi trying to pay him back on the inside and he almost got underneath. Let's see what happens as they go into turn two. Three laps remaining that time across the stripe, and right now the hotly contested battle is for the fourth and fifth position. Two laps to go. Palmer, Morgan, one and two. Rose is third. Fourth is Hadley with Tomasi rounding out the top five. And here is Palmer looking for his third win of the year as he is ready to stop across the line. One lap separating him from a victory. And Jason Palmer, the dominant factor so far in the late model division, as he is able to missile his way into turn number four for the final time. Off the corner he comes. Jason Palmer parks himself back into victory lane here at the Waterford Speedboat. Second place going to Ryan Morgan. Charlie Rose coming from the back of the field bid race to finish in the third position. Yeah, car was good. I uh, just lanes went the way we needed it to tonight. We got uh, we rode there second behind the tent for a while. He had a great car. Uh, we got that late restart and just capitalized on it. Got a good jump on the top. I always love the top here and uh, just got around got around uh, Ryan. And then I don't know what happened here in the front. Show. A bunch of melee. I don't know who climbed over what, but uh, then we got a restart with Morgan and that was always uh, it's always a good fun race next, next to Ryan.
your sponsors on the number 17 that you need to thank for getting you here tonight. Absolutely. Pecan Project, Sign Pro, Gallagher Buick GMC, Green Construction Management, Wide Elf Communications, uh, CWPM, uh, Gary Espinoza for some great horsepower, my father, uh, all the guys at the trailer, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>